Before we get cracking on today's podcast, we have a message from our mates at Game Day Squad. Do you love women's fantasy footy? Oh yeah, Women's Aussie Rules Fantasy has officially launched at Game Day Squad. It's free to play, create, coach and compete for weekly prizes. Open your free player packs weekly. It's fun, it's free, it's easy. Register now at gamedaysquad.com.au. DT's all right with me. DT's all right. Oh, Ooh, yeah. 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 I'm Rory. I coach Destroy, and I'm here with Warney. Coach of the Wonder. And Zach. Kevin. Coach Kevin Edsel. Bow, bow. Now, this is a big one. Is it? Yeah. Why? Because there's a couple. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, oh, oh it's we're on screen. Yeah, we're happy. Oh, you know why you got confused? Oh, right. They're both our Tassie team. They are a Tassie team. Yeah. Clarko coaches both That's of them. That's true. Very true. Um, um, they both suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, same, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, nah, come on. Early. You. Um, you know. <laughs> yes. There he is. He's the man. Oh, he's a. He's no. a myth. Oh, you can't be yeah, you're serious. Mighty, mighty good, man. Well, okay. okay. Without having a look there, he a is bad the dog. No. highest averaging player for the uh, yeah. Hawks. He had a breakout season. 105. Well, he did. He improved it, what, by about nine points nine or points. so? Nine points. Yep. And he could easily be one of... He, he goes round one in draft next year. Oh, he does. Look, it's just for the, the brave, way you get there. So you would. You would. At 105 definitely. average... It looks great. It does. But it's the way you get there. <laughs> no, I know. Because it's the roller have coaster of the highs. 160, 165, 130, 130, that's 132. Where, that's where it becomes a must have. 49. And then this. 65, 78. Oh, 84. That's probably better than what we thought, Roy. Yeah. We, we'll get there. Well, you love him, though, Cow. I love him. Okay. I love how unpredictable he is. I love his ceiling. The role the when it's working. Do you like the suspensions? I don't like the suspensions. No, that's not something I look forward the to. The role when it's working is the most elite in fantasy yep. footy. Yep. You, you can't watch the football. Oh, there's been if, some hard if ones. You, if you don't have him when he's on those, yep. just those tangents of plus six, Mark plus it, six, Mark plus it. six. And the other team almost make a point of going, we don't care if you get it. Yep. And he goes, okay, then I will get it. And I'll do it more then. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, if you don't own and through now that. now he's going the long sleeves, so you see him so yep. much easier. Yeah. Do you know what? I've never owned him for one of those days. No. The day out. Which he had a lot of those here at Utah Stadium, Cal. Yeah. Until oh. you told us to get him in, I, A, on debut, B, Nah, 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 make him your captain. I, I got on him nice and early. I got a couple of really big ones out of I him. I can see why you'd like him. You had to trade him out. And, and then I got back. him back. I am a sicko. Legit yeah. full-blown. All right, let's have a look then at Hawthorne's other good players. And probably the key one, probably which don't. was the must-have, was that was Will Day. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So Will Day was epic. Like, started the season in spagnaminous form. 98, 92, uh, 128, 99. Now... Very good mm. because uh, what was he priced at? It was I low. Think. It was low. Quite low. It was lower and than it was that, just, I think. Yeah. You just had to do it. But then he got suspended. Yeah. And remember the drama of that, that it might have been downgraded to one week to yeah. your hold? It was a and joke. And we held for two weeks I know. as well. I think that's a lesson learned. Which was probably the mistake because he came back with 100, which is okay. But then 85, 77, 86. Mm. Then he had 101, but then a 70, a 98. Like, He'd got himself to that price where yeah. it was the right call to offload him, yeah. I yep. think. So I can see why we held because, mm. I don't know, we'd become a bit attached and he was going so well for the price point we paid for him. When not everyone did it yep. to start with because obviously we had the carrot of more midfield time, yes. which was a big influence on us doing it. Um, but he was getting the job done. Now, Just I just want to think for the future here, okay? So... When we have our time again with someone like Will Day, mm-hmm. obviously we were thinking, imagine when we get him back in, we'll have an extra premium in that week mm-hmm. on everyone who traded him out, yada, yada, yada. But you look at our teams now at the end of the year. They look good. Yeah. Yep. They look really good. But we were slow to get, too slow yeah. to get there. Yeah, I think we can sideways trade. We fire. You've got to be more aggressive. It just depends on where you're at, at two the weeks. time. Yeah. You've got to be more for. aggressive. Yeah. God, that's a big hold. Yeah. 
It, it was. Um, will Day in the future as well. I don't think we're going to have him as a defender, are we? He has to be a straight mid. It, it might be a bit line ball because he still played some defensive stuff. Is it enough to late. get that 35% that he needs? Late, so, the last couple of rounds he went back there. A fair bit. His CBAs have been up all year. So Sam yeah. Mitchell has only used Newcomb, Nash, Warple and Day. They're the only guys he puts through the middle. He's cooked. He's a midfielder. I think he's done. Yeah. Now, just on the breakout, he went from an average of 61. Oh, mm. is that our cheapest? 61. That's yeah. huge. It's a big year. It was a Gosh. good pick. Great it was. Pick. Yeah, yeah. Must have pick. Yeah. All Proud right. of that one. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we are never, ever, ever um, I'm going to go here. No, oh, no, no. I'm Has with to. you. You I'm can't with you. do that. I'm never. with you. And I'll, I'll put the caveat on it that I'm never, ever, ever getting back together no. with a sick dog at that price. No. He would have to be cheap yeah. for me to get him. Same here. I just... He's going to be priced at the 105 next He's year. He's done this to no me way. before. Sit back and watch. Take on the dog. Take on the dog. Take on the dog. And he'll go 130 on you, 160 on you, 120 on you. Okay, I'll get the dog. And then that last <laughs> three weeks, what he – what was it? Oh, my God. What did he churn out that last three weeks? It would have been an average of about high 80s. Where was he? Maybe the 90. Sick dog. He went oh, – so he went 103, but 78, 84. That were the three games we had him for after that 160 that we missed. But you had him, didn't you, V8? Oh, yeah. We need to learn just to stay away from him. Stay away. No. Just let it play out over the course of the year. Okay. So next year, round one comes along. Yes. I release the scale of hardness. And yeah. I'm like, boys, look at this. <laughs> More green grass yep. than your lawnmower will love. And you'll go, we just have to. Yeah, it's one we of the reasons I hate you because you trick me into this <laughs> no, all the time. Um, yes, he's expensive. Yes, right? he is. But. Way too expensive. But. And it's a butt, Roy. It must be considered and never, ever crossed off the list. Look, dog, we need to remind ourselves of this next year. It cannot be done because other teams have worked out if they leave him to run yeah. free, he's actually it's okay. Happen a lot more. He influences the games. So if you didn't notice, that, especially the um, two weeks ago and three weeks ago, they made him accountable yeah. back there. That cooks him. He walks around, he sulks. Gets his little sookie dog on, he whimpers. He pretty much has a sign, I'm doing the team thing, and <laughs> tries not to touch it. It gets so bad. Oh, yeah, okay. If you guys want to go down that path, <laughs> yeah, I You'll do want to go down that you? path. So he could be one of the most expensive starting defenders. And it and could be there. one of the picks of the year. <laughs> well, <laughs> not at that you can. price. You know who I do like? Don't do it. As their premiums is John Newcomb. Now, yeah. just a little game Bomb. day squad I had with him. Yes. I came fourth overall for round, what was it? Round 22. When he played down here against uh, the Bulldogs, mm. had 159. Got me right up there. So he's been a good pick for me. Wow. But it might be that sort of player that you could have there in a game day squad, and that's where you can have them because you end up having a decent sized bench when you're opening up your weekly packs. So okay, playing well, in the right matchup. I'm not it's surprised a you've got a good team. Every time we buy packs on the DT Talk <laughs> card, it goes to your team. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and that's <laughs> the thing. <laughs> what are you killing no, it? Oh, you got, you, then you know what I got because I got some free packs for that. I bet you I got did. silver. Well, for coming fourth. Oh, yeah, I bet you You get did. great prizes in game day squad. Yeah, all right. Um, you actually earned these Silver, yeah. Sheasel, and a No, you two. didn't. That's what I got out of that. That was pretty good. Did you? That's actually very elite. That's how you play game I don't know if I could squad. think of two better cards or players Probably to not. get than those no. two. Yeah. Good players? Gosh, we get sidetracked from Hawthorne very quickly. Uh, there's not right. much else to talk about. What else have we got? Have we got, uh, are we thinking about next year at all? I'm always thinking about next Let's year. Think about next year. You make me break. I don't know, though. I don't know if this breakout plays. No, no, it's, it's not used a, players. It's not a breakout, the guy that I want to talk about. Oh. It's a guy that... So, what'd you... What? So... Go breakout. Just because no, no, no. there's none. <laughs> Carl Amon, right? And I know Carl? you... Hear me out. Hear me <laughs> what out. What about him? So, Carl, <laughs> on his way from Port Adelaide. At Port Adelaide, he was a 98-97. Okay? Yeah. So, he'll be priced at 87. 10 points down. Yeah. Oh, that, that's going to be the line that you're going to roll but, out this preseason. But, but... <laughs> After the boy, he went at 102. Okay. Yeah. And he went at 113 in his last five. I thought okay. he looked like he came good. He did. He came home hard and down Downhill skier. I saw in him um, floating over. into D50 for a few little marks yes. of late. Yeah. Probably that last five weeks. So, 
he could be up racking. around that hundred mark again. Well, I'm just saying. So what are you saying? What's the average? Eighty-seven. Yeah, Eighty-seven. Oh, he's under. He's a little bit under. <laughs> All I'm saying, draft, and we can always hide under the draft blanket. We can. He probably needs to get bumped up a little bit. Pull up the blankie. Yep. So, uh, what are their rucks going to do? It was weird. Uh, it was. We, that's a steer clear. But um, Lynch obviously uh, retired. He's out. Yep. His concussion. Um, oh, Chad Wingard. At oh. 60. He came in and was all right. He was good at the last end. couple. Yeah. yeah. Poor bloke, he uh, did that. Uh, uh, he played himself into a nice He went. This is actually what he went at the, towards the end there. 81, 85, 116 and 88. Do you know, two weeks prior to that, mm. um, we had our Keeper League um, little mid-season draft. Yeah. And I dumped him because he, well, we hadn't played for a few weeks. And, and then he did average. that. Yeah, and then he went and did that. Tra- typical Could've, though, dog gets kissed as usual with an Achilles. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Here's one. Soften the blow. Someone who, <laughs> the I'll take that. <laughs> Someone who will be a forward next year, who, who came home strong, Dylan Moore. So yeah. 127, 82, 107, 103. So he had more CBAs at the end of last year yes. when we are all probably excited yep. about that breakout. But what's he done? He's pretty much done the same he's as last done year, average-wise. Yeah, yeah, he's so done the same. You talked a bit before about those CBAs for the Boring Hawks. deal. He would have been a failed pick this year, obviously, averaging that 88. Yes. But he was highly talked about because obviously something we look at is that high CBA count at the end of last year. Yep. And his average was through the roof in the second half of the year. Let me put it to you. Where will he rank as the Fords? For well, next here year? we go. We're going to lose a lot of those ones at the top. We are. I don't know. He'll be, be in there. the mix again. He has to be there. The, he'll be in the. Top six to eight again. He will. Conversation. Yep. I what? don't know how he cannot be. No. Mm. Uh, another one that we'll lose, though, I reckon Will Day, mid only. Yes. 100%. I don't know if it's 100%, but you don't I think, think it's so? a fair chance. It's too right. I think it's 100%. <laughs> I haven't. He's got a lot of CBAs there. Yeah. A lot of CBAs. Yeah. Unless you're That's desperate fair. for one extra defender dog, it's, it's a sure thing. It's no, a sure well, thing. I don't have any bloody saying it. Oh, sorry. Um, is that all we've got to talk about? Well, Warple, Warple was good. So. Your boy Warple. Oh, so Warple, Warple was good. Warple, Warple, what do we call him? Like, it could have been a decent enough pick. 86 is, you got a massive return from that. Yeah. However, I think the thing is, I he was just a bit of meh all yeah, the time. Like, he was, yeah. He, he went 96 in round one where I was happy. 82 was about where, you, expected you know. It. And yeah. then he dropped a 57, which then sort of stunted that cash yep. gen at That's that when point. I got off. A 71, a 114, 88, 8, 103. So that was a nice little patch. But mm. everyone else is on these other guys or they've already made that upgrade with Agreed. that position. Yes. So I was sort of rolling in a position. Like, yeah, it was just an awkward one. So he had a few massive first halves as well. Yeah, it was oh, like, yeah he did. Here goes the warp and, yeah, it just you, went missing. You picked him, dog, at the start of the year. What average did he have that you picked him at? What was I th- he? I think it was about 50. 52. 52. Yeah. So to look at that 86 oh, yeah. now. If someone said that to us, yeah. you were getting that from you 100% saying. It's just, yeah, I'm on. It's the timing of when you get it some is. of those scores. So like yeah, like we said, that 57 yeah. at round three just hurt. If he, yeah. So if you picked him up at that price and he played – the first half of the season, hitting that 86 yeah, every yeah. week, yep. you would have been... We would have got through to the buys with him. Just gone, and thanks very much for your time, James. You would. Mm. Mm. The Warpedo. Mm. So he ended up, yeah, he was. He had a good season, really. Probably the biggest he fantasy um, importance out of this, though, is Finn McGuinness. That, he's going to oh. cause headaches next year for us. Hugely relevant every week. Yeah. Even on the weekend, the last, um, in round 24, yeah. Yeah, he went to Luke... Ryan. Ryan to start yeah. with and then bounce around. Like it's go- he's going to be deployed in different ways. Yeah. He but will. Hawthorne are going to get better. And so you'd think his, yeah. what he does is going to be more settled. Yeah. Wouldn't you think? I don't know. I think I so. Don't know. And I don't know if they're willing to give up a midfield position yeah. for yeah. him to do that. Yeah, it depends who they're up against. Yeah. Just Sam Mitchell takes joy out of disrupting what the other team are doing. And he hates fantasy. <laughs> he does. Luke Ryan hated the ball first Quarter. I'd I think hate he had too. one, one that touch. Was you imagine that. Out. He's walked out there. All of a sudden, Finn's next to him. He's got like, you've got to be life, kidding me. Yeah. He's like, go, life. look, there's Brayshaw. There's the wrong, mate. What are you doing here? Mm, should have heard the commentators pre-game talking about <laughs> um, who they reckon it'll go to. Yeah. 
and I was sitting there, Team Awesome Source. Yeah, yes, <laughs> Patreon. You haven't, new. you haven't mentioned him yet. Oh. No, so they had no idea. Of course. And all the Patreon members were sitting comments. there. Yeah, I was smug sitting on the couch. <laughs> well, that's Hawthorne. We've talked a bit about them. Um, not massively relevant stuff, I no, don't think, not at a lot this there. point. But no. we'll see how they're looking. And Actually, I want you to get Sicily, but then I don't. Yeah, I know. I know. He's a it's scary an awkward dude. one. He is. He's a scary dude. About. Yeah. All right. He is. Thanks, Legends. Oh, see you next time. Attention footy fans. Have you ever played fantasy football? Fantasy footy is taking the world by storm and here's your chance to play for free. Create, coach, compete in fantasy footy for free with Game Day Squad. Open free new player packs each week. Sign up to coach, build your team, trade players, bench injured or unfit players, upgrade rookies. It's your fantasy team. Play your best team. Become the ultimate fantasy footy coach. It's fun. It's free. It's easy. Register now for free at gamedaysquad.com.au.